Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a recipe for roasted pork. Now, this dish originates uh, out of the Czech Republic, so it's an Eastern European dish. Uh, several years back, my husband and I had an opportunity to vacation in Prague. What a beautiful storybook city Prague is. It is amazing. Um, the food, as well as the people, are absolutely fabulous too. Now, I'm gonna attempt to pronounce the name of this dish. I believe it's Vepro Nedorozello. Uh, and I think it translates roast pork, sauerkraut, and dumplings. I could be completely wrong, but that is what we're making today. We're making a roast pork, and we're gonna serve it with a sweet and savory sauerkraut side dish along with a light pillowy bread-like dumpling. Now I'm gonna break this video up into three segments. So it'll be three individual videos, just so it doesn't run too long. Today's video um, is going to focus on the roast pork and the pan gravy that we'll make from the drippings. And the other two videos will be the dumplings and the sauerkraut side dish. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. Okay, so let's start by preheating our oven. Now we're cooking this roast at a very low temp, so we're only setting it to 300 degrees. If you want, you could set it to 325 to save some time, but no higher. While that's preheating, let's prep our pork. So here I have a three and a quarter pound pork shoulder, and I've removed the excess fat. I've just left a very thin layer on the pork. So here I have three cloves of garlic. I'm just removing the little hard ends and we're going to mince that. So here I have my garlic press. I'm just going to throw the garlic in there and give it a squeeze. Unfortunately, um, this garlic press is a piece of junk. So I ended up having to remove the garlic and finish it by hand. So yeah, rest assured that ended up in the garbage when I was finished. Okay, so three cloves minced garlic. Next I have one medium onion, so I'm just gonna remove the skin and then we're just gonna slice it and then just roughly chop it. So you need about one cup or a medium onion. So it doesn't need to be fancy, just chop it into little chunks. Okay, done with that. So here I have like an 11 by seven inch corningware dish. I'm just gonna put the onions at the bottom of that dish, just like that, and set that to the side. So now let's season our pork shoulder. Here I have uh, ground fennel seed. I'm gonna use approximately two teaspoons. Just sprinkle that over the pork shoulder, make sure to rub it in, and then turn it and get the other side. Now this is a picnic cut pork shoulder. So here we have the minced garlic. Again, rub that over the pork shoulder, turn it over, make sure you get the underside. Perfect. And now um, some salt. I'm gonna use approximately two teaspoons. Make sure you season both sides. And of course, some ground black pepper. Again, about two teaspoons. You wanna season your pork very well. And that's it. So let me move this to the side. I'm just gonna get rid of this dirty cutting board. Now let's place the pork roast on top of the onions. And here I have two cups of water. I don't use all two cups. I think it's more like a cup and three quarter. I just want the water to come up a little bit of the side of the dish. And I highly recommend you use a meat thermometer to take the guesswork out of when your pork roast is ready. We're looking for about 180 degrees. So now let's put that in the oven. I'm gonna set a timer for about two hours just to keep an eye on it even though we're using a meat thermometer. Okay, so it actually turned out to be about two hours and 15 minutes before the 
pork reached the 180 degree temperature. It's lovely. There you go, 180. So we're just gonna let that sit and rest. So let's start our pan gravy. I'm just gonna use the liquid or the drippings from the roast. I'm gonna scoop it all out with some of the onions and put it in a saucepan on medium heat. And then here I have Wondra flour. I'm gonna use two tablespoons, but you can use any starch. This will thicken the sauce. So just uh, give that a good whisk until all the flour is dissolved. And then I'm gonna use something called Gravy Master. Um, it's kind of like a demi-glaze, I guess. Uh, it adds a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor to any gravies that you're making. So just a dash of that is needed. If you don't have it, you don't have to worry about it. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And then we're just gonna simmer this for about a minute and it'll start to thicken up. And once it starts to look nice and glossy and it starts to get thick, um, you can then just turn off the heat. And as it cools, it's gonna get even thicker. So this is done. Let's shut that off, set it to the side. Now we can carve our roast. It's been resting for about 15 minutes. And I wanna cut some nice thick pieces. And here, I just wanna show you how ridiculously juicy this pork is. It is just dripping juice. It's lovely. So now let's plate it and taste it. Okay, here it is, guys. Our lovely roast pork with that pan gravy. Our delicious, sweet, and savory sauerkraut. And our dumplings. Can't wait to try it. And this is a Pilsner Urkel, or Urkel. Um, and this is brewed in Prague, or at least Czech Republic. This is their beer that we are going to have. Okay. Let's taste. Oh yes, some pork first. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> mmm. That is so good, so tender and juicy. I'm so happy with that. Let's try our lovely sauerkraut with the bacon and the onion and the sugar. Fabulous, oh, so good. And now a dumpling. And it's had some time to sit and soak up some of that gravy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, <laughs> that's fabulous, fabulous. Reminds me of when we were in Prague. And let's wash it down with a little beer. Well, I hope you guys try and enjoy these recipes. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time.